diet is more than just a low carb diet. It's a very high fat, very low carb diet. To put this into perspective, when following a keto diet, around 70 to 80% of your daily calories should come from fat, 20 to 25% from protein, and just a mere five to 10% from carbohydrates. the macronutrient distribution stay the same between the two, there's a greater emphasis on food quality and consuming whole nutrient-dense foods when following clean keto. On the other hand, those following dirty keto can include more processed and less nutrient-dense foods in their diet, as long as it fits their macros. For instance, someone on dirty keto could order a bunless double bacon cheeseburger from their favorite fast food restaurant. The main difference between the keto diet and a general low carb lifestyle is carbohydrate intake. Those following a low carb lifestyle could be consuming anywhere from 50 to 150 grams of carbohydrate per day, whereas those on a keto diet have to consume even fewer carbs in order to stay in ketosis. This is typically well under 50 grams carbs per day. It's easy to confuse the two diets since they share some common characteristics. However, there are some key differences between the two. For example, they both strongly discourage eating grains and legumes like beans and chickpeas, but for different reasons. On paleo, it's because these foods likely weren't part of the human diet during the Paleolithic era. Whereas on keto, it's because these foods are just too high in carbs. Essentially, the main focus of keto is macronutrient distribution, keeping fat intake high and carb intake low, whereas the paleo diet is more about the food choices and places no emphasis on macronutrients whatsoever. Controlling your carbohydrate intake and including protein and fat at every meal can help stabilize your blood sugar levels. And improved insulin sensitivity has been noted in some studies that looked at the effects of a keto diet in people with type 2 diabetes. Unfortunately, it's unclear what the long-term effects are. As for other supposed benefits like supporting heart and brain health, there's just not enough research to know for sure. What I love most about Birch Vendors is that all of their products can be enjoyed by the whole family, even their specialty mixes like the Paleo and Keto Pancake and Waffle mixes. They're full of healthy fats, fiber, and protein, which can help keep you and your family fueled and focused. Plus, they contain no added sugars, so they're an all-around win. Erythritol contains fewer calories per gram than other sugar alcohols. Also, unlike other sugar alcohols, most of the erythritol ingested is absorbed into the bloodstream in the small intestine and therefore doesn't enter the colon. This gives it the highest digestive tolerance of all the sugar alcohols, so you're less likely to experience the unpleasant digestive symptoms like gas and bloating that normally occur when consuming other sugar alcohols. One, it contains almost no calories, just around 0.2 calories per gram, whereas table sugar has four calories per gram. Number two, with less than 10% of the calories of sugar, erythritol still contains 70% of the sweetness of sugar. Number three, erythritol has been shown to help reduce cavity formation, dental plaque, and amounts of the oral bacteria Streptococcus mutans, which is considered a major cause of tooth decay. Number four, us humans don't have the enzymes needed to break down erythritol, therefore it doesn't spike blood sugar or insulin levels. And last but not least, number five, erythritol occurs naturally in a variety of foods like grapes, mushrooms, pears, and watermelon, and some fermented foods and beverages like beer, cheese, soy sauce, and wine. The monk fruit is a small green melon native to Southeast Asia. The extract of the fruit is sweeter than traditional sugar, but contains none of the calories or carbs that would otherwise raise blood sugar levels. This makes it the perfect sweetener for birch benders, paleo, and keto-friendly products. I love that birch benders products are convenient and nutritious. Preparation is a breeze, no extra ingredients needed, just add water. Plus, they've got something for everyone. On the paleo or keto diet, they've got a pancake and waffle mix for that. Are you looking for a nice boost of plant-based protein? They've got a mix for that too, and their mixes use quality, nutrient-dense ingredients that I love to include in my diet on a regular basis, like almond, whole wheat, and coconut flours.
Short answer, the term net carbs simply means the number of carbs in a food your body can digest and use for energy. Long answer, the carbs that fall into this category are those that come from starches and sugars. Since fiber and erythritol aren't broken down by the body and pass through your gut mostly unchanged, the carbs that come from them don't count towards net carbs. So to calculate net carbs, simply subtract the fiber and erythritol from the number of total carbs. Many of Birchbender products are a good source of fiber, contain heart-healthy, unsaturated fats, and are low in added sugar, which means they can be incorporated into a heart-healthy diet. For example, their Paleo Pancake and Waffle Mix is rich in fiber and heart-healthy, monounsaturated omega-3 fats, thanks in part to almond flour.